Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is kind of a wacky Wednesday, I would say, but we're gonna have a good time. <laughs> yes, and also, uh, we also have a gold top um, that's up for auction, signed by Richie Sambora, and that will end July 9th, which I believe is next Friday. Yes. So, get on it. And 100% really cool. goes to the Midnight Mission, so. Yes, 100%. Well, the proceeds go to the Midnight Mission. We love that. Um, such a cool thing, and it's great what Norm does for them and, and what you guys do um, bidding on these guitars and stuff. So always feels good to give it. Oh, what's up? That's my man, John Tucci. Um, but yeah, always feels good to give. So, um, But yeah, today we have a really cool guitar. Um, we got this a little bit ago, um, but it was kind of hiding in the back. I think Norm didn't want to sell it, but... Here it is. <laughs> so this is definitely a unique animal. Let's see if I got all the latches. Nope, I don't. Come on. Come on. I would... Come on, right there. The day I wore this shirt, you could tell the latches were not <laughs> in my favor. Okay, so we have a 1967, uh oh, do I have it? Epiphone Riviera E360 TD. 12C in sparkling burgundy metallic. That is nuts. That's a guitar of the day right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so kind of like the 335, which would come from Gibson, which they did as a 12 string, but this one's got the mini humbuckers, which sound unbelievable. Um, really interesting sound in the middle position. It almost sounds kind of out of phase, but you get this cool like uh wish you were here kind of like through a filter sound but the neck pickup always sounds amazing really really great sound and same with that that bridge pickup um look at that trapeze tail piece too so cool and the checking on the guitar is totally unique yes i love the check. really cool and i love that epiphone sign right there too they put it on the pick guard and also on the truss rod cover really really beautiful now this guitar weighs about 8.4 pounds um it's a laminated maple body uh, with a maple center block going down, just like a 335. Uh, one piece mahogany neck. Wow. With the longer headstock, too. Um, really, really, really beautiful headstock. And it's got that kind of vertical cloud inlay, which is really, really nice. Uh, one and nine sixteenth nut width, um, 24 and 3 fourth uh, scale length. Um, Clusen Deluxe Tuners, as you can see up top. Really, really beautiful. Uh, Rosewood fretboard, which had knobs. Really cool. Tunematic bridge. Uh, really kind of helps this thing stay in tune. Um, but yeah, introduced in 1965. So you're two years into it, and uh, they know what they're doing at this point. And that color is just. I know, it's crazy. It's over the top. So yeah, really beautiful guitar. Typical lemo, I tuned it into fists, but. <laughs> Sounds good either way. All original. Only one I've seen so far. And I'm going to miss it. So let's enjoy this episode. The case is cool too. Case is cool. I don't think we got case candy in this one. Maybe the key to the case, which is this is the original. Great condition. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, maybe it's not. I thought it was, but it's Gibson. So no. But the key is. The key is. The key to life. <laughs> <laughs> is in this episode. <laughs> no, no, really, really beautiful guitar. And um, like I said, never played anything like it. I love 12 strings. I think everybody should have a 12 string. Um, they're just like angelic harps. I love them. But uh, yeah, let's take it out front, see what we can do. But I'm very excited about this guitar. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, we're out front with the 1967 Epiphone Riviera. Now this is an E360 TD12 in Burgundy Sparkle. Are you kidding me? So cool. Wow. It's E-esque, almost, and wacky. Oh. Almost. Almost. No, it's not. Let's redo it. Yeah! <laughs> Just keep going. We're also going through the Fender Deluxe Reverb, starting off on that neck pickup. Let's see what we get.
Cool, let's go to both pickups together, see what we get. Now it kind of almost has an out of phase sound, but it's really cool sounding. Let's check it out. Let's go to bridge. You'll notice a lot of bottom end even comes back. Check it out. Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye.